this is my old phone that I used to film on my channel. Now I have a new phone and it's filming in 1080p 60 frames per second. This is the card holder here and I'm back to do, to, to do a video on my updated Blu-ray collection. This is going to be part one. I'm going to eventually get all the rest of my Blu-rays that are in storage out. So for right now, this is going to be my Blu updated Blu-ray collection part one. So. It's been a while since I've made one of these, like, collection videos, but now I'm going to finally be getting things together because I have a new phone, and it's going to upload more faster, it's not going to malfunction anymore, so, uh, let's get started here. Uh, first off, we have The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Not that great of a film, but I owned it because the slip covers, um, very nicely embossed, and and was stone. Okay, and the, <laughs> the soundtrack on here is pretty darn epic. So that's why I buy it. It's not that great of a film, but you know. It's worth it for the special effects, though. I'll give it that. Escape from New York, the Screen Factory Collector's Edition. Have yet to see this movie, but I heard a lot of good things about it. It's from uh, John Comforter, the director of uh, The Thing. <laughs> if I could just uh, put this thing back. Okay, we'll just leave that down there for now. Okay, here's In the Heart of the Sea, a very distant Ron Howard flick, Jurassic World, wasn't really too hype about this movie when it first came out, but I thought it was pretty good, mm, very, pretty decent movie. The Last Dragon, uh, Barry Gordy, that's all I have to say about this movie, you, you guys already know how I feel about this movie, I love it. Mad Max, one of the best uh, post-apocalyptic films, Mad Max Fury Road, classic in the making. The Matrix Trilogy, The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, with a very nice new cover. Mortal Kombat Triple Feature, I just got it for Mortal Kombat, excuse me, Mortal Kombat Legacy there. Uh, Mortal Kombat and Annihilation is just crap, and, but the first one is okay, it's worth it for that. The Star Wars Prequel Trilogy, yeah. Star Wars Original Trilogy, yeah you know what it is. Star Wars The Force Awakens, probably the best film of 2015. I finally heard that they're making a 3D Blu-ray version of this soon, which is kind of cool. Another one of the best films of uh, last year, 12, straight out of Compton. Freaking awesome movie. My only still book I have in my collection uh, is the Highlander Mondo still book. I can get this open. Here it is. Here is what it looks like without the J card. I think all steelbooks should have their own protective covers like this, you know, it's really nice. I got that for like $10.99 at um, Target, so very nice deal on that. Uh, let's move on to the regular Amorite releases. We have 1941, Steven Spielberg's war comedy, The Assassin, another jar computer flick, Big Trouble in Little China, freaking awesome movie, The Born Identity. I've yet to see Jason Bourne. Um, I heard it wasn't as great compared to the original trilogy, uh, but I'll still see it because you know I love this movie. I haven't even seen uh, Legacy, Ultimatum, or Supremacy. I haven't even seen any of those. The Blade Runner uh, 30th anniversary. This was uh, this was basically my uh, first Blu-ray. Chronicle, one of the most underrated found footage films ever made. Curse of the Golden Flower. Dragon of Bruce Lee Story. Drumline. Excalibur. Flash Gordon, freaking awesome movie. A Spaghetti Western Blu-ray double feature with the Grand Duel and Kiyoma. Kiyoma's probably the best film on here. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, my second Blu-ray I bought. It's kind of funny because the first two Blu-rays that I bought were movies starring Harrison Ford. Isn't that crazy? Like, for real. Uh, the Island, probably one of Michael Bay's best films. Uh, Kung Fu Hustle, one of the best action comedies. Freaking awesome. Last Starfighter. Lego Star Wars Padawan Menace, just bought it because of Star Wars. Got it after I saw The Force Awakens. Uh, Miami Vice and Inside Man, just got this because of uh, Miami Vice. 
I wanted to see how it paid homage to the original 1980 show. Uh, original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy. Uh, trading places in over 48 hours, a little uh, anywhere for each triple feature. Uh, Three Outlaw Samurai, my only Criterion I own in my collection. Hopefully I can win that Cinema Scumbags uh, Criterion giveaway if you guys can support me on that contest. And thank you Nick Darden for commenting on my contest entry video. I appreciate it heavily. Thank you so much. And last Emory Blu-ray, West Side Story. Here's some box sets. We have the Alien Anthology. And I love Blade Runner so much that I had to get the Digibook. Freaking epic. And the Terminator Anthology film. Which, without a doubt, my favorite one is uh, the first one. The first one is a classic. And let me put this back. Escape from New York. And Highlander back. If I could get it back in the slipcase. Bear with me for a second. Sorry, this is taking a while. Alright, so there's my Blu-ray collection for now. Uh, I will be doing a martial arts DVD and, well not Blu-ray, but just martial arts DVD collection. Uh, I have a ton of those in storage as well. So if you guys stay tuned for that, and there will be some more update videos coming soon. So stay tuned for all those videos. And once again, this is the Kari Holder. You guys have a blessed day.